Hello, I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy, and today I'm here with a bit of a bonus video. I had a number of requests as to a flip through of the 52 weeks of journal making. Well, as you can see, we are at the moment working on the third signature. These two are complete, so I thought I'd do a flick through of these two and then obviously we can do a flick through of the other two when it's finished. Now when I set this up, I allowed myself four sides for each of the weeks. I'm sorry about the banging, there's building work going on next door. So that's 208 pages basically. Now I know a lot of people when they make journals, they tend to be, in my opinion, this is only my opinion, more of art books because they cover every single page and that's fabulous they look gorgeous but to me that's not a journal because for a journal you need to have space to write now obviously these are not yet connected so yes i do lots of pretty pages but i have space for writing space for tucking in memories you see there's a whole double page there for note making and there's lots of space here. I'm not going to count the weeks because obviously that could go on forever. And then this is a double page. These have all been done in videos. So if you wanted to see them making, you can go through and you will find them. You see that page is blank and that would just slide off. This is masking paper. We've got two blanks there for journaling on. And although this one is decorated with some stamping and some stenciling, it can be written over quite easily. There's another double page here. Very blue toned, that one. And then I was still in a blue mode here. So we've got some fabric cluster there, stenciling on a book page there adding in some pink now also to the blue and this one has got a torn corner there and it's got a corner punch there and then you see we're at the center so that's a double page and then we've got napkin stencils image cut out of a magazine Another double page here into browns, double writing area, single writing area and lots of writing space around here as well if we want it. Could tuck something small under there. Two more plain pages apart from the stitch line. That's that stamping page. Now we've got a stuck down tag just because I could it's obviously just the mood I was in that day. And then here we've got this flip secrets and we've got a tag in that pocket there. And the colours come through the, from the other side here which has added some decoration to that page. And then we're back to blue again. We've got some vintage paper and a vintage boot stamps. So now this must have been, look, March the 2nd, this must have been my birthday. Because I had this stamp for my birthday, so this was around March time I did that one. We've got a little pull out notebook and four images on that one. And this is from a 1907, no, an 1897 magazine. And we've got um, sewing pattern, stamps, more of my rose stamp. I love that stamp. And then here, we've got everything. We've got some hessian and a die cut, some hole punch, black and white image, and a little doily with a bulb pin so that 
is the end of the first one. So that obviously went January, February, March. And then this one will be April, May and June. So back to blue. I do like blue, don't I? And this was where we used the paste, the modelling paste with a stencil and then just with the palette knife. And there's a big journal space in the middle there. This was that edge decoration that I took from Gal Augusta Lenny, although she did comment that it wasn't actually her, it was some other lady whose name I'm sorry I can't remember. And then we've got a bit of sort of uh, paper patchwork going on on this one. Paris, we've got more um, paste in a stencil there. Let me just check you're properly in view. Oh yeah. Um, paste in a stencil there a napkin book page and then this was one of my first kits where we cut out round the lady put the rest of the paper behind her lots of journaling space and this is another sort of patchwork paper patchwork with lace on the edge I have obviously spent 2021 20, making this up and it will and there's another one of those cutting round and just using these are from my photographer's closet kit um, I spent 2021 20, making this so it will be a journal oh look at this we've got a flap there with a pocket and then we've got this vintage page there's another little pocket there and then there's a giant vintage tag behind there. So yes, yeah, sorry. And this is all... Oh, let's do the pages first. <laughs> this is cotton fabric and ticking and um, a dye relief. Some fabric, safety pin. There's all sorts going on on this page. And that is a pocket. And then this was when we did the picture frame. When we uh, did some stamping to create background pages and this is a big open pocket here journaling space and again journaling space and this is the frame and another frame and then pockets shoes and coffee a few of my favorite things it really is as well i'm addicted to all three of those and here we've got a broken book cover now basically that was connected to there and I just tore off an extra bit of space but obviously it's in the video um, and I used it all to make this pocket they're stuck down and that's obviously stuck down but then we've got a big piece of ledger paper that's in that pocket there and then when we come over we got a book cover and that lifts up and there's a mini secret journal behind there big journal space there and then this was from um, bits from my um, Parisian office kit but then there's also bits here that are from kits that I've bought. I'm sorry about the children in the street. And there's a big stencil area with some colour, a couple of stamps, more journaling space. Again, big journal space. Using the paper dolls here with stenciling and book page. And that's from uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah, the street names. Another journal area and this is lovely. I love this one with the clock and the heart and the coloured cheesecloth and lots of different stamps. And then we've got this little die cut here under a bit of napkin, exploding inks. And then here we've actually got a double pocket because we've used this envelope so we've got a pocket there and I've only stuck it on three sides so we've got one in the middle so then we've got this soldier tag that goes in the back 
like so and then this is where I made some postcards uh, just pictures from a big book and I cut pictures out of 4x6 which is a standard UK postcard I use my postcard stamp and I also use my stamp stamp but I cut it out and stuck it on so it looked a little bit more realistic and put the postmarks on a bit of bling and lace there did that mainly to stop it going all all the way into the envelope I wanted a, a stop point yeah and then oh gardening in the greenhouse and then here we carried it over and this piece is just what's left from stamping lots of these and I just put some floral paper underneath more journaling another one of these frames I do love those double journaling and we've got more paper dolls here with lots of vintage words making up a bit of a collage there's another garden here grand hotel it's up to you yeah life is up to you isn't it and then here we've got peacock pocket and we've got this little booklet that's got a pocket in there as well so then that goes just in there and then that comes over and we've got a double journal there so that is January to June J to J they're the first two signatures and as I say I've obviously spent a lot of 2021 making this book so it's going to be my journal for 2022 there you go so those of you who wanted to see how it's coming along they are the first two completed signatures that one's not going to stand up is it yeah there you go first two completed signatures and then see if we can move them over a little bit like that yeah and this is the one that we are currently working on so those of you that wanted to see i hope that's giving you an insight to what you know the whole thing looks like and as i say obviously we are nearly there look because this is um, the end of July and August and September and then the last one will obviously be October, November and December so thanks for watching stay safe I'll be back with you soon bye for now